Your browser is the most important tool that you have, so it's important that we choose the right one. Today we're going to cover the basics of the world's most famous browser, Firefox. We thought it fitting for the first episode of Tech Bytes to cover the basics of the browser that we're going to be using in most of our episodes. We're going to cover three main things today. First, we're going to change our home page. Second, we're going to change our theme, which will control the buttons and colors of our web browser. And three, we're going to change the layout of the buttons to suit us better. With that, let's get started. One of the first things I do in any browser is change my home page. Your home page is where you first start when you start up your browser, or where you go when you click the home button. To change your home page, you first need to go to the page that you want to make your new home page. There's nothing wrong with this Firefox start page, but for me, I'll take a pure vanilla Google. Once you're at the home page that you want to use, click the tools button up top and click options. Once you're in the options menu, click the use current page button. That assigns whatever page you are currently browsing as your home page. Now that I've made Google my home page, I'd like to change the look and feel. We can do this by clicking tools and clicking add-ons. There are two types of add-ons for Firefox. Extensions change the way Firefox acts, and themes change the way Firefox looks. To find a new theme, click the Get Themes button. Once you're in the add-ons page, just scroll down. You can browse themes by category, popularity, or the new and updated. I'm going to give Blue Ice a try. Usually you can get a preview of the theme in the form of an image right on its page. This one looks pretty slick, so I think I'm going to give it a shot. If you scroll down to the Install Now button, first take a look at the compatibility. You can see this one works with Firefox 2.0 and above. To check to see what version of Firefox you have, click Help and click About Firefox. The version you have will be displayed on the bottom here. As long as you're within range, go ahead and click the Install Now button and then click install now again. Once it's done downloading, click themes. Then find the theme that you installed and click use theme. Next time you restart, this will be your theme. A quick way to restart is to click the installation button and click restart Firefox there. This will automatically restart Firefox for you. Now you can see the buttons have changed and Firefox is starting to look a little bit cooler now. But I'm not too happy with the interface, so I'd like to change the layout a bit. You can do this by right clicking in any empty space in Firefox and clicking Customize. This brings up the Customize Toolbar window. You can add or take away buttons from your toolbars by clicking and dragging. I've added the Print button to my toolbar here. Now, for me, I might not want the Back button because I can access that by hitting backspace so I can click and drag that back into the customized toolbar. Now it's been removed. If you're like me you probably want to save space and for me I want to use the slimline interface. You can create the slimline interface by dragging everything up to the top that you absolutely need. Once you're happy with the buttons that you have up there remove everything else by dragging it back into the customized toolbar window. You're left with one blank toolbar. To remove this, simply right click and click its name. Now you can see we've eliminated one whole bar from the interface in Firefox, and we have that much more room to actually view websites with. Now if you've been changing the layout and you've managed to make, well, pretty much Firefox spaghetti, you can restore it back to its defaults by right clicking and clicking customize and using the restore default set button. If one of the toolbars is missing, it's probably because you removed it previously. Just right click, find its name, and click it again. And now Firefox is back to the way that it was. Well, now that we've got Firefox looking the way that we want it to, 
Next week we're going to take a look at some of its basic functions. We're going to take a look at Quick Bar, we're going to take a look at keyboard shortcuts, and we're going to take a look at the tabs inside of Firefox. If you'd like a companion article to today's video with step-by-step -step instructions, links, and tips and tricks not found in this video, head over to techbytes.com. That's tech-bytes.com and take a look at our companion article for additional information. Make sure to tune in next week for the next episode of Firefox Basics on techbytes.com.